there was like a definitely a period where like you notice like I used to be in everybody's vlogs all the time mm. and now I'm not so much and it's not because I'm not friends with those people but it's because I needed to separate from my own reality where right. I was having trouble differentiating and now it's like they're together all the time and they're vlogging and that makes them happy and they're okay with it and I think that's okay too like they do also like if you see them in a video for 40 seconds three times a week like they really are hanging out from right. like morning to night um but I'm and like Liza too like she was in the videos all the time and now she's like rarely in the vlogs anymore how does she have time how do you both have time to be involved in that because when I look at it and I see Liza in all these people's videos she's in every well she's really not anymore though like she anymore. very rarely because I'm like how the fuck them. does she have time she doesn't and that's why she's not but like it also like we get sad about it Liza and I kind of bond over this because we're really the only two right now that are doing outside projects and like doing our own things. And we're also, and this is like no shade to my friends, they're aware of it. We're the only ones who build ourselves. Um, and then the rest kind of like build off of each other. So we're kind of like separate entities, even though we're part right. of like vlog squad, it's like, we don't get to hang out with them. And like, we have FOMO where like, they're literally together all the time and we see them doing these fun things. And like, I literally can't watch the vlogs cause it makes me like, FOMO y and makes me wish that I was not writing a book. You know what I mean? Because really? I want to go hang out with them. When I see that, I think, oh, I'm so glad I'm not there. So yeah. Vlogging it, when, all the time. We sounds do have awful. fun. That sounds horrible. But no, I agree. And like, again, that's why I did like, that. So where's the separation between reality and is this yeah. just for YouTube or whatever? You but know? also, yeah, I they, saw David and his friends at Chipotle and they had their camera. But they were just like being normal and hanging out, whatever. But they yeah. had the camera. And I'm like, so do they hold the camera all day and just film all day? Or how did that, how did, what? They definitely everyone has their cameras at all times because that's kind of like the daily vlogger life. Right. But I mean, I will say there are a lot of genuine moments that we have together, especially the ones they're not filming where I'm there. And it's like we'll go out a couple times a week together. And like if we hang out on the 4th of July, we're hanging out all day together. Nobody's filming. But at the end of the day, we also know that this is also our job. Yeah. So it's almost like, yes, we're sitting here and we're at Chipotle and we're just hanging out. But if something happens, we have our cameras ready. And I think a lot of people can handle that and sustain that emotionally. But for me, it made me feel confused and weird. Can I ask a question that we can cut out totally because I wasn't planning on asking this. If anything, I was not going to talk about this. And I, I won't directly talk about it, but I'm curious if something happens in your life or in one of their lives that is controversial or people are like taking sides, whatever, do they ignore it and then kind of shut you out? Because I know yeah. when I had my whole controversy back in 2000, whatever, I mean, everybody I was around, silence, no tweets, no support. I mean, it was dark. Um, they've never shut me out, but they definitely didn't come to support. And that hurt me as like a friend, but I also understood it career wise, I guess. That's the balance that I'm trying to figure out. It's, like, there's it's this hard. weird career friendship thing. Cause it's like, well, are we friends or are we YouTube friends? And what does that mean? And I literally wrote a poem about it. it. <laughs> How does it go? No, but it's really, it's, it's like such a stressful dynamic. And I think this is just YouTube in general is especially like a vlogger type YouTuber and like our type YouTubing where it's just, we're, we're personalities. Yeah. Um, it's just the line is actually, and I'm saying it because I don't know how else to say it. When you're you for a living, who are you and when? Because this is my job and this is my career, but also are you my friend? And like, if this is going to jeopardize my career, do I step in? And it's just like, I do wish like for the whole recent scandal that I honestly don't even want to bring up. Like, I wish that I would have had support from my friends, especially the people that were there. And that hurt that they weren't. But like at the same time, it would have like, swept them up into a huge thing. And it, it is interesting to see who will actually come out and say something. And it's people you would never expect in a million years, but the people that you expect to really have your back don't really speak up. But then also you can't really blame them. Cause then yeah. I'm like, well, if somebody else was in the situation, would I say something? And honestly, I'd like to think that I would because when the situation has ever presented itself, I always stick up for my friends, yeah. but. And then it separates your real friends from your fake friends in instances like those of those people that don't yeah. show up that aren't supporting you because they're too worried about themselves. like. If you get swept up in it, then that's the cost of friendship. And like you ride or die, you roll, you know, yeah. like if one person starts a fight at a bar, all the girls are coming, we're all fighting or whatever, you know? <laughs> so it's like, that's friendship. Those. It doesn't matter what, what someone else is going to think of me if I stand up for my friend, yeah. you know, like, um, and that's, I think, how you can really tell the difference. There's a lot of reasons that I don't like posting about 
friends and when I'm with people or letting people know who I'm with and when and it's one when I'm doing it I like to just be there in the moment and make it a real moment and not make it like a content thing and two I know for a 100% fact that the people that I'm surrounding myself with are in my life because they want to be it's not because I'm tagging them it's not for exposure it's not for anything except they love me and they want to be around me you know and that's I'm just at a point in my life Life where I really enjoyed that feeling a lot just the comfort of knowing the people in my life are genuine it feels very nice it became just a game of people speculating on like my life and my relationships who I'm hanging out with who I'm not hanging out with and it was either I did something horrible to be removed from this group of people or I removed myself because I'm so selfish that I don't care about them and I don't want to be a part of their life I'm talking about the vlog squad, obviously. <laughs> and that's something that I've wanted to like talk about for a long time. I started living my life in a way where it was like, I can't do or say anything without immediately a list of things in my brain going, but this could go wrong, this could go this wrong, this could, and everything could just go wrong. And you have these people in the industry being like, just ignore it, just ignore it. So let's just like get the vlog squad stuff out of the way. The truth is between me and them, nothing happened. Literally, nothing happened. And people ask us to comment on it all the time and we don't because there's nothing to comment on. And people just wanted a conspiracy so bad and they're making these videos about on this night, this person Snapchatted this and this person tweeted this, so this must mean this and she did this and she tried to break them up and she must have tried to blah, blah. It just, it was so many conspiracies that just didn't make sense. And it was just, everybody wanted an answer of what happened and we never answered because like I said, nothing happened. Like, we're all cool. Like, there's not a single person in this entire fucking world, especially the internet, the YouTube community, who I have hate for or have a problem with. Well, maybe Royce Gum, I don't know. We haven't talked. <laughs> but I don't have a problem with any of these people. I love and support all of these people. I still talk to these people. They talk to me. And as far as I know, nobody has a problem with me either. And if they do, I don't know about it. Like, sometimes, and I know that this, for some reason, People look at internet people as TV show characters, which I guess makes sense because you're like watching us in place of TV, but you look at like people who don't hang out anymore and you assume, oh, it must be because something horrible happened. But in real life, do you still talk to all your best friends from middle school, high school, college, adulthood, wherever you are? Do you talk to everybody you were ever close with? Or did you have a best friend in fifth grade and then you went home for the summer and you came back in sixth grade and maybe you hung out with different people because your interests change a little bit or your schedules aren't quite the same or anything, really. I've spent my entire year therapy, the gym, or studio sessions or working on YouTube videos in what would be considered my spare time. I had so much work to do on myself this year. And it sucks that I have to like explain that. Like I hate that it had to turn into drama and then no matter what the move was like, if we didn't talk about each other, it was they're not talking about each other because something happened. But then if I mentioned David in like a, an interview or a podcast casually because I was asked about it, it was somehow taken out of context and twisted into like I'm talking shit about David and I have to like go online and be like, no, I'm not talking shit about David. I've always supported David. I've always thought that he was a talented, creative, funny person. That's why I started hanging out with him in the first place. I've always believed in him. And then it's like, oh, she doesn't comment on his posts because they have problems. But then if I comment on his posts, then it's, wow, look at her trying to be friends with the vlog squad again. Like, she's so desperate. And it's like, I can't win. David knows I support and respect the fuck out of him forever. And if he ever needs anything, I'm here. He knows that. Liza knows the exact same thing. And we talk a, a lot. <laughs> we just don't film together. And I just want you guys to like, understand and I think that like you do but sometimes it's hard to remember because I remember before I was in this world that it was hard for me to like really get a grasp on but just because you're not seeing it on camera doesn't mean it's not there just because I'm not filming videos with people just because I'm not going to parties just because people do different things with their lives doesn't mean that something horrible happened and it was also like Everything I said was being taken out of context. Like if I was talking about how much I loved one of my friends, like say I'm talking about Taylor and I'm just like, I just love her so much. I just know that like, she's always there for me and she's like never using me. And I'm just, to comp uh, I'm complimenting my friend. And all I'm doing is talking about how much I love my friend. And people would take that and now it's shade. And I'm saying this because I'm shading the vlog squad. And like, no, you can compliment somebody without insulting somebody else. Call my friend pretty, that doesn't mean that 
I'm saying somebody else I used to hang out with isn't. It's just this is a thing that I really like about this person and I really enjoy this person. And then I see videos in my feed about how I shaded these people and now it's more videos and comments about how I'm a snake and I just... It, dude, it was a lot. <laughs> That's all I have to say about that because there's really nothing else to say. <laughs> and I hope that doesn't get taken anyway. Like my head's already doing like a million things. Where that can go. David actually just sent me a video the other day of him answering it and I asked him not to post it because I already saw it. I was like, well if you say that then people might say that and that's why like this year's just been like tough because it's been like just constant breaking down of every single move that I make and I started questioning every single move I made and then I, I stopped living.